Hey there, my unicorn friend. Have you heard? About Princess Twilight Sparkle's coronation? Who hasn't? I'm on my way there now. So much baking to do and... No, no. About the Earth Ponies. I know their crops have been underperforming, but... Uh... That's not it. They're hoarding the food for themselves. I heard the mayor of Appaloosa say that if unicorns and pegasi want to eat, they can use their own hooves to dig. How awful! We unicorns have to stick together, right? <laughs> ah, Chrysalis. Another successful field trip, I presume? Spreading distrust among the unicorns and earth ponies is almost too easy. We could take down Twilight and her friends a hundred times, but as long as they have the love of Equestria behind them, they'd crawl back to defeat us. Not anymore. No friendship, no magic. It's so obvious when you think about it. I did my part freaking out the Pegasi. And Glogar's long absence has given me time to prepare the next part of our plan. Glogar's bell. This artifact can steal any creature's magic. It holds that magic until it is released by this spell. Which means all the power inside is ours for the taking. You're drooling on the bell. Let's try the spell before Grogar gets back. I'm sick of waiting for that old goat's master plan. Take my hand. So we can all be part of the spell. Unless you'd prefer I take all the magic myself. Our pact stands. What we do, we do together. Once we defeat the protectors of Equestria, we can claim this land and rule our kingdoms alone once more. Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? I have returned. Twilight Sparkle's coronation is today, and we are going to ruin it with this artifact. But to succeed. You must work together. Oh, way ahead of you, Grogar. The bell! You had it all this time? Why didn't you tell me? We're villains, duh. That was unexpected. Wait! Discord was Grogar? Like, the whole time. Should we follow him? Without magic, he's no threat. Besides, we have plans. Doesn't she look so adorably regal up there? Our little Twilight, all grown up. Should we tell her that we've cleared out our royal suite so she and Spike can move in? Oh, maybe wait until after the coronation. Twilight doesn't need anything else to worry about today. So, we freaking out yet? About what? Oh, I don't know. It's not every day the princesses that have ruled Equestria for hundreds of moons retire and pass all their responsibilities on to you and your friends. Oh, that. Actually, I'm feeling pretty good. We've all faced so much and come out okay. 
I know we're up to the challenge of keeping Equestria safe and happy. There's nothing we can't handle together. Which reminds me... Royal Advisor? What's that? A new position I created for you. You've been at my side for every step of this journey. Knowing I had you to count on gave me the strength I needed to grow and succeed. I wouldn't be here without you. Thanks, Twilight. You know I'll always be your right hoof dragon. I was hoping you'd say that, because now that my crown's been fitted, we have some royal errands to run. Are you sure this is where Pinky told us to get the blackberries for her special coronation dessert? Maybe they keep their produce in the back? Nope, this is all we got. But I got a special on these taters. Uh, um, no thank you. We'll keep looking. Oh, Twilight, darling, you're just in time. Only one more pre-coronation stop. We're picking up the final touch for your apre hors d'oeuvre gown. Is that before or after the royal marshmallow eating contest gown? What? I haven't made one of those! You must tell me when they add these sorts of things. <laughs> it's okay, Rarity. I was just joking. Joking? Day of her coronation? You've come a long way, Twilight. Well, that's odd. They look open. What do you want? Oh, well, this being a thread shop, I thought I might buy some? Put the bits in the mail slot. What was that about? You know, designers don't like being interrupted when they're on a creative roll. Ooh, with thread this exquisite, can you blame them? Weather for the coronation is sunny skies. It was weird, though. Not many Pegasi wanted to help me clear the clouds. They were kind of on edge. They're not the only ones. It's the first shift in royal power in over a millennium. Of course every pony is a little jumpy. Change does that. But I'm sure it's not because they're worried about you. How could they be? How many times have you saved their flanks by now? You're right. I'll just have to let every pony know that even with Celestia and Luna gone, we'll make sure things stay the same. Twilight! There you are! You mind telling your friend here that I don't need an official guard wherever I go? Especially if he ain't gonna help carry apples? I appreciate you taking such good care of my friends, but we're fine now. It was the strangest thing. He kept calling me Earth Pony, like I didn't have a name. And watching me like he thought I'd steal the silver. Do not go in that kitchen! You look like you were in a sugar war. For some reason, the bakers are super grouchy with each other. That unicorn chef started throwing dessert at Mrs. Cake! I tried to help, but I got caught in the crossfire! Tasty, tasty crossfire. Are you sure this is just pre-coronation nerves? Oh, my aching metatarsals. You know, you forget how convenient snap travel is. Wait, did you just walk here? On foot? Yes, actually. And I have a confession to make. You see, I might have made the teeniest boo-boo. All very well-intentioned and noble on my part, of course, Get but... to the point, Discord. Uh, you remember that whole thing with King Sombra? That was slightly my fault, and by slightly, I mean, I brought him back. You did? But why? Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time, which is why I also brought back three other villains who are now on the loose and not really big fans of yours. So, uh, my bad. <gasps> Let me get this straight. You wanted to boost Twilight's confidence, so you brought back Chrysalis, Cozy Glow, and t rex to attack her? Don't forget Sombra. And while you united these three villains, you pretended to be Grogar? Discord, how could you do this to Twilight and us? Look what a great job you did defeating Sombra. All the confidence you gained. Remember the cheering? The hoof bumps? Except it was all a lie. A well-intentioned lie. For all the time you spent with us, you really haven't picked up too much in the way of friendship lessons, huh? You've been setting up challenges for us the whole time, haven't you? None of our successes were actually real. Of course they were. 
You just had an extremely good-looking safety net. And how was that supposed to help again? I intended to prepare Twilight for anything by orchestrating an epic attack at her coronation. You beastly beast! Don't you know how much this day means to Twilight? And me? I made her dress! Why wait until now for such a horrible plan? You don't take a final exam on your first day of class. Just think, after defeating three baddies, Twilight would have to believe that she's the leader we all know she is. You have made a grave misjudgment, Discord. Do you have anything else you would like to tell us? Would you like the good news or the bad news? That wasn't the bad news. All my chaos magic is gone, trapped in Grogar's bell. So what's the good news? Chrysalis, T-Rex, and Cozy Glow now have all of the real Grogar's magic. In what world is that good news? Compared to me losing my powers, anything else is good news. Twilight, Luna, we need to make a plan. Maybe it's not too late to stop this disaster from happening. I... I need some time to think first. Well, there isn't any time. Look what I overheard them saying. Oh, just listen to my voice and use your imagination. Let the fool go. Without magic, he's no threat. Besides, we have plans. The lame six are so busy being perfect, they haven't even noticed what we've been up to. Have I mentioned how great revenge is? Oh, I hope you got a name picked out for your future kingdom, because it's time to destroy Equestria. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably on their way to attack Canterlot right now! Then we'll stop them! How? Stopping Sombra by himself was hard enough, and that was with Lord of Chaos training wheels. Twilight, it doesn't matter if Discord set up your successes or not. We believe in you, and always have. Lean on your strengths to counter your weaknesses. My strengths? Right, Spike! Send a letter to Star Swirl. Tell him we need the pillars to guard the borders of Canterlot. If the villains are coming for a fight, we'll have one waiting for them. With Chrysalis on the loose, she'll go after Starlight. Worn Cadence and Shining Armor. They're our final line of defense if we fail. The ultimate battle for the fate of Equestria is coming. We're not going anywhere until you two stop arguing. Chrysalis, say something nice about T-Rex. No, oh, he's red. T-Rex? She's uh, not as annoying as I expected. Now we were talking about Grogar's bell. We should take the magic inside it. You know how powerful Discord was. That much chaos magic in our veins. But taking it all would be madness. It's impossible for any other creature to control. I guess if you need a guinea pig to find out if any pony can use chaos magic, I'll volunteer. <laughs> Chaos magic is a good idea. Leave it in the bell. We've got a kingdom to conquer. So, where should we strike first? <laughs> Everywhere. We faced enemies of Equestria before, and we've always succeeded. That wouldn't be possible without all of you. You're welcome. Dude, read the room. So I ask for your help again today in what is our biggest battle yet. All of Equestria is at stake, and I can't do this alone, but I'm not afraid. Because with friendship as our armor and teamwork as our power, no pony can ever bring us down. Oh, come on! Where'd you get that? A daily affirmations calendar? Yes. Cozy Glow? 
You're about to wipe the floor with you! <gasps> wow, it's true! Alicorns really do have more fun! Spread out and stay ready, friends. Canterlot depends on us. are playing. Oh, Somnambula, warn the princesses. Ah, the perfect dessert to a legendary meal. to fight I have to go you got this no pony does a great and powerful escape like Trixie ah just the head mare I want to see you didn't make an appointment <laughs> what is this place somewhere you can't hurt any pony wrong I can hurt you Blast you! Oh yeah, real motivating. <laughs> You'll pay for that. Put it on my tab. to take my revenge on you. <laughs> Stand down, Cozy Glow. Gee, I guess I could, but... I'm having too much fun! Ready, sister? Wait, what are you... No! That's the problem with you magic types. You're so reliant on all your special power, you forget to use your brains. Keep telling yourself that. Now! Your pathetic shield can stop us. <laughs> the pillars have been defeated. Your school is abandoned. Face it, Twilight. You've lost. You can attack us, and we may fall, but Equestria will still stand, united in friendship. 
and we won't stop until we defeat you, no matter how many ponies you take down. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you all notice something was wrong in Equestria? We've been busy. A whisper here, a rumor there. Destroy some crops, cause some damage. Turn pony against pony. Until your whole kingdom is on edge, waiting for just one tiny thing to push them over the brink. There's no backup friends or rainbow magic to save you now. Go. I think it's time for some redecorating. You know what's stronger than friendship, Twilight? Fear! Because when you have to protect yourself, you don't have time for any pony else. Too bad you never taught that in school. Huh? Go, Twilight! Go help! We'll hold them till you get back. No! I can't leave you here! It's our only chance! You come up with something to save the day! Why, you fool! 